Hey everybody, Andrew Peelage here, uh, out in the Sonoran Desert in the back of my FJ once again. I seem to like doing these reviews uh, out here. So, um, had a great day out here today. Uh, it's frigid winter temperatures here in Arizona. I think it was 64 degrees. Uh, freezing my butt off, but we're doing what we can around here. Um, but great day. Saw an, saw an owl out here. Uh, unfortunately, I only had my 70 to 200 out, so didn't get a good shot of that. Had a couple uh, F-35s um, fly by as well, so that was cool to see. Got a terrible shot of those too because I only had a 70 by 200. But um, I am here to talk about uh, a backpack by uh, Guru Gear, and I've done a previous review on their um, Kaboko uh, 2.0, um, which is a fabulous pack. And Guru Gear sent this new pack. It's called the City Commuter, and this is the 18 liter plus. Um, they sent this out to me let's see, about six months ago. And uh, as you can tell, as soon as I got it, uh, I used it as my primary bag. So this was everything from architectural shooting, landscape shooting. I did a trip to Berlin with it as well uh, for two weeks. And uh, I apologize for it being dirty. I know all, a lot of product uh, reviews have all these shiny fancy bags, but mine is not that way. Uh, but I wanted to go through this with you, um, some of the cool features that they've added um, uh, that's a little different than the other pack that I had, um, some things that I didn't like as well. Um, so let's get to it. So let's talk uh, exterior or outside of the pack real quick first. So um, this is uh, Guru Gear's X-Pack uh, material. Um, I believe it was designed for some sailing uh, I, I absolutely love it. It comes a little stiff. It comes a little shiny when you get it. Um, but it definitely does soften up and kind of molds around, uh, your gear, which I, which I like a lot. Um, again, super durable. Um, I'm digging that. Um, they also have added, I guess what we're calling these magnetic pods. So if you can kind of hear it on the video, they pull out and then they snap back. And uh, really, really love these. And especially with a, a bag called the City Commuter, um, you're going to want something with a sleek profile. And uh, these magnets help do that. Um, so you don't have a big baggy uh, pocket coming out. And Guru Gear nailed it. So big, uh, insulated, 32 ounce. I think it's even bigger. Will it fit? Yes, it does. It fits great. Uh, worst thing in the world to get a pack with a pocket like this and you can't fit your Nalgene in there or your insulated bottle. So check on Guru Gear for that. That was awesome. Um, along this side as well, we'll just keep, in, keep going through. There's a big buckle. I think it's a little oversized in my opinion, but um, it does great. Uh, no problems with it in and out. Easy. Um, on this side of the pack, you also have a uh, Rainfly pocket or really anything you want. I keep my Rainfly in it. Um, the X-Pack fabric is water resistant. Um, I think it's a little bit more than that, but I think they're claiming water resistant. I have had to use or thought I had to use my uh, waterproof pouch uh, cover in Berlin. Um, both work like a champ in, in little uh, downpours or sprinkles. I don't even put the cover on anymore. So um, that lives here on the side. Also in here is a little tiny pouch or pocket. And uh, from what I uh, understand, it's for uh, like a tag, if you want to keep like a GPS tag uh, in your backpack, which I thought was a cool little touch. It's hidden back there, so people won't necessarily, it's not obvious for people to find it um, if your bag gets separated from you. So um, really like that. Um, other side is uh, the quick access. So, um, you know, I, I don't really, in the past have not used this feature a lot. I'm, I'm, te I'm really an architectural photographer. Um, I don't do a whole lot of city stuff, um, but I did use this feature uh, after receiving this pack. Um, and not so much like a Wild West, you know, quick draw kind of thing, but it's nice to set this down and be able to pull it out um, pretty easily without having to do these big zips to get to your stuff. I'm keeping an R5 uh, 20, 28 uh, uh, 105 um, in here with an adapter. So that all fits in here. It's pretty tight, um, but you can't fit all that and, um, and pull it out with ease, um, which is great. Um, color coded with the blue, which I love. So, uh, if you see blue, uh, that means uh, you're unzipped. Um, I've, I've lifted up my pack unzipped. I've seen other people do it. It's a terrible, terrible thing. Um, so it's nice that Guru Gear has included this blue, um, 
liner in here to make sure you know when it's open. Uh, also great high visibility for low light. Um, you know, the sun's about to go down here, so it's nice to have this bright blue um, when I'm looking around for stuff. Um, let's go to the, this side here. So uh, this is the front. Again, sorry, it's so dirty, but this is uh, Guri Gear's kind of uh, butterfly opening, I guess. It's kind of mirrored on both sides. They're pretty similar, a uh, little different. Um, I won't go into all the stuff here, but... Um, Plenty of space for traveling. Um, all you know, all my uh, uh, usually all my like personal stuff lives in here. And then when we open up the guts of it, I'll show you where I keep all my kind of photography stuff. So traveling with it, it is nice to not be able to, not have to open the guts of it um, to get passport or um, you know snacks or anything like that in here. Wallet, um, all of that stuff. So uh, great zippers are great. Um, I love these the poles on them too. You can really get your finger in there and yank on them a little bit to get it open quickly and efficiently. Um, cool thing they've added here, which is different than my uh, 2.0, is this um, magnetic clips. So uh, again, I'll kind of show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up, but you can hear it. And then it's a slide off. So magnet on and then slide off. Uh, Pretty, very, actually not pretty cool, very cool. Um, I love this design. I've tugged on these things. I've uh, had to pull my backpack up by them. Um, no problem with popping these out. I haven't had any problems with that. Um, just a cool little feature. Um, I love it. I think it's cool. Um, getting to the back, um, this is the handle, which uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh man, this makes me nervous uh, already. And I haven't even filled up my backpack. So it does feel a little awkward when this thing is heavy packed up with a couple different lenses and bodies and then you pull on this little strap but for the record uh it's still intact it never busted i yanked on this thing a few times in berlin you know trying to get it out from a plane um and no problems um i do wish it was still a little bit bigger um the 2.0 has more of a um a, a thicker uh, handle strap on it so you can really grip it and pull it. This just feels uh, not proportioned correctly, in my opinion. But again, hasn't busted on me yet. Um, straps are great. Um, no problems there. Same thing, same fabric. Uh, these The pads do soften up a little bit. Um, I'm not a big sternum strap um, wearer, so, but they do have the sternum strap here. Uh, if we flip these around, which is very cool. Um, I thought this, this is how you get into it is here. And I thought that this was going to be a problem. Um, but if you just flip these, they still, they stay real nice, um, like that. And another cool thing about this pack is it stays up. So obviously there's nothing in here, but it doesn't fall over, which I really, really appreciate. It's, it's awesome feature. Um, uh, plenty of padding back here, lots of airflow. Um, you can throw your throw it on your uh, roller um, roller luggage if you want to, which I did. Um, works great. Um, and then now instead of like the 2.0 has the butterfly opening where you kind of zip it and it comes like this and you have kind of mirrored storage. This is just back to one big opening. So pull on these guys. And this is another thing that... Uh, I think I can fix, but I haven't had time to do it yet. But my zipper does get caught on these little straps down here. And I think that's for a hip belt. Um, I think I may be able to iron those out so they don't stick in. But it has been annoying on a couple of times when I'm trying to unzip this and it gets stuck on that. Um, other than that, the zippers are great. Um, so it folds out here. Um, plenty of storage. So I got R5. 24, 105, 70 to 200. And then I usually have two tilt shifts in here. So 17 millimeter and 24 millimeter. Um, my battery can battery charger goes in here. Um, no problem. Uh, then the lid, great. Uh, another magnetic here. Um, two sleeves, um, which is like felt covered. Uh, I guess you could put in a laptop and a iPad or something if you want in there. Um, I didn't want to take all my stuff out, so I got stuff in here, but this is all batteries um, in here. Uh, plenty zips are good. Plenty of storage in here. Um, not a problem. In interior is great. So uh, there is a little more space in this pack than there is in the 2.0. So um, if you're looking at getting at comparing those, um, there is a difference in there. So um, last thing I wanted to show you 
is uh, this top pack. So there, it's a roll pack, um, which I thought was pr a pretty interesting design. I've never had a roll pack. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to work, how, it was, how I was going to use it, but I love it. So it's expandable. So if you can see in there, um, it's just a big belly, a uh, big open hole, which is great. So um, I've put like fleece and clothes in here with camera stuff in here. Um, but I did find out that it fits a Mavic 2 Pro perfectly in here. Lays all the way down. I don't know if you'd be able to see that, but lays flat in there. And then I have my uh, remote in a case, and that goes in there as well. And then uh, two magnets on there to snap it closed. You roll it, and then it's magnet closes on both sides. So um, wonderful design. I, I love it in there. I do wish there was one extra roll because if you stuff it one more, it's hard to get that first roll and then it doesn't really feel closed. Uh, you know, it's like those water duffels. You got to roll it a couple times to make to uh, make sure it seals properly. So, uh, but overall, um, I, I really, really like it. I, I think Guru Gear um, does a great job of, of thinking uh, about their designs. They're very thoughtful in, in things and considering issues and challenges that we as photographers have. So I can't recommend this uh, pack enough. Um, I do have a, a code um, for 10% uh, off. Um, if you want to use that, I'll put that in the link uh, down below. Um, I'll put some more information down there. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments down there. Make sure to like and subscribe and um, uh, that's it for me from the Sonoran Desert. So thanks for listening. Bye.